The president, the former president and Secretary Clinton came out against Bernie Sanders during a solo campaign event in New Hampshire. Here's Chelsea Clinton. Senator Sanders wants to dismantle Obamacare, dismantle the CHIP program, dismantle Medicare, um, dismantle private insurance. Senator Sanders wants to devolve the authority to set up state health insurance programs to individual state governors. Well, Sanders has a lot of momentum with younger voters, of course, is Chelsea the Clinton antidote. Joining me right now is MSNBC political analyst Joan Walsh of The Nation magazine and Sam Stein of The Huffington Post. Joan, I want you to both take over on this because <laughs> I think Kristen Walker said it to a T. When you start shooting your guns out the window, somebody's attacking and you're worried. Why? Oh, I love her coming on this show. I really do. And right. everybody else at MSC wants her on. She's making the rounds rather heavily and deploying her daughter. Right. In an aggressive role, not as a, my wife's, my, my mother's great or she's a great right. grandmother, but nailing the other guy is unusual. But I don't know that it's that unusual. I mean, it was going to tighten once people were paying attention in January. This is a great, Iowa is a great state for Bernie Sanders. It's, it's, it's heavily white, almost 90 something percent white. Lots of college students, they can vote this time, or they can caucus this time around, which they couldn't do easily for Barack Obama. So they never expected this to be a cakewalk. When her numbers went way high after Vice President Biden said he wasn't going to get in, they thought that was a fluke. So I don't, I, I don't see anything that weird about what they're doing. And I also think, I love Senator Sanders, but let's figure out how single payer would work without yeah. getting too wonky and making everybody's but eyes How do you attack over. a guy for being too left or too complicated or whatever? Because I'm not sure. I, all I see is they're attacking, but I don't quite get the message of their attack. Well, Sam. they're being deft about it because they're not attacking him from the left here. They're attacking him from the right theoretically and I think I we have a dream. That. No, really? we didn't no that's true. They went after him for you single payer health care. They went it. after him for saying that he would raise taxes on people below two hundred and fifty thousand threshold. True. Those are both progressive planks that they went after him from. And we do have a journalistic responsibility to say that a lot of what Chelsea Clinton said there was misleading. I mean she she herself has been a fan of universal health care and she's encouraged Democrats not to fight over it for her to then turn on air over this it suggests that she is a little bit You mean she's for public this. option? Yes, of course. Most Democrats I, are for I, a public option. Now is it uh, is it complicated? Is it costly? Yes, of course. And those are things that they're going to have to have it out on. But what Chelsea Clinton said on that segment was, well, was the very follow, if that's yeah. the case, wouldn't the follow from Bernie, who's Bernie said Senator Sanders, he's quite clever and adept, and deft yeah. to use your word. Why didn't he just come back and say, look, are you, are you not for the In single fact, payer? What he did well, today was he tweeted out a picture of Hillary Clinton thanking him for his longtime support for universal health care. I mean, there was complications to that I've attack got, that you gave. I've got to say, Sam, I think when, when Hillary Clinton does something that's just political, she gets so much crap for it that other people, that other people don't get. I would give get. Bernie crap for this then, too, because Bernie Sanders but, has said consistently that he would put out the pay-fors for his single-payer plan. And today, he said he, they might not come might not before the Iowa until so after Iowa. So I'm not trying to pick on one person or the other, but you do have a responsibility to say, why is she attacking Bernie Sanders for single-payer health care and it's partially because there's not much room okay. to the left of him. My daughter's in college, she's in grad sure. school right now and she tells me everybody in her whole campus is for Bernie. Is that, a, is that going on right now on the campuses? Well, as you know, my daughter works for Hillary, so she's, <laughs> she's a, a fly in that, in that theory. But yeah, she's working, she's working she's, with college students. She's seeing a lot of people feeling the burn, and it's great. They're getting people yeah. into this process. But, to, but the idea that there are not young people, and particularly yeah. young women, who are passionate about Hillary Clinton. Of course, I think but is, like, I, I feel a, re, a, a return of what happened many years ago, but it's so crystal clear what's happened to me. The Democrats had a really solid front runner for the nomination back against Nixon, Ed Muskie. Now, he's forgotten pretty much now, but he was a solid front runner. He had been right. on the ticket the, year, the four years before. He was Lincoln-esque. Sure. Now, along comes George McGovern from the left on the anti-war movement, anti -war movement and killed him. Right. So I Bernie is that. running from the, it's very hard for a centrist, I'm sorry, center-left Democrat like Hillary Clinton yeah. to defend against the left when that's where the action is in a I party. I think the tricky part for Isn't Hillary it? Clinton is this, which is that if she attacks Bernie Sanders, it comes off as desperation because yeah. he's not supposed to be on her stature. Now, the only thing I... It's also, but everybody then knows he needs but then, her voters. But, but, but so if then she, she took so granted, she's then she would be the going one, for a exactly, coronation. Exactly. So, now, I think the one thing I would disagree with is that Hillary does have this advantage, which is she is a historic candidate, whereas Muskie was not. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, that was complicated in a way because Obama himself was, his, was historic. Right. But at this juncture, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that a lot of people, when they go to vote, think about that and say, do I want to cast this ballot against net, potentially the first Do you think that's salient right now? 
Of course. Yes. Right now. Yes. Then why is Bernie doing so well in the polling? Well, polls go up and down all the time. I think once you actually get and get to the ballot and you can and you have to make that decision, I do think that is a, a motivating factor. And once you have to get voters. to the caucuses, which remember Absolutely. are very public and involve yeah. you know people, neighbors, you know, confronting, cajoling neighbors. I think gender can be very helpful to Hillary if she employs it at the right time, but not too early because then it blots out all the other issues. Then Bernie grabs all the other issues. If Maybe. you say gender, then he grabs all the other issues while you're talking gender. You got to compete with them on the issues and then at the last minute like you say and if you have to make a tough call here why don't I go with history anyway thank exactly. you John Walsh I'm thinking about thank this anyway, Sam Stein. <laughs> coming up Republicans up to their elbow